And his top dog was Devontae Adams, who has an NFL high 29 TD catches over the last two seasons. Chase has last year's Triple Crown winner Cooper Cup as number four and former LSU teammate Justin Jefferson rounding out his top five. Now, Damien, <clears throat> who will be the top <clears throat> wide receiver in the NFL this season? My man already told you. You saw the list. I, okay, it's I want to ask Adams. you. That's his list. It's Devontae list. Adams. <laughs> Nothing's changed. He's still the best route runner in the National Football League. He's just relocated from Green Bay, <laughs> where the cheese is, to Las Vegas. Okay, you got Josh McDaniels, one of the one of the brightest offensive minds in the National Football League, and Derek Carr. Is Derek Carr Aaron Rodgers? No, he's not. But he's no scrub. Okay, Derek Carr is a really good quarterback. Mm -hmm. And I think this situation will actually help Devontae Adams because they have more weapons around Devontae Adams. You're talking about uh, Dar Darren Waller, the tight end. Matchup nightmare. Hunter Renfro, matchup nightmare. So you know who's going to be getting more, probably more one-on-one -on -one coverage that he's seen in a long time? Devontae Adams. Again, I'm going to say the, the best route runner in the National Football League, period. All right, what about you, Chris? <laughs> I, I don't hate Devontae Adams, Woody, but I'm going to go with my guy, Jamar Chase, the one that put together the yep. list that inspired us to talk about it because you're talking about this dude being fourth in receiving yards last year, being third in yards after catch per reception, and also you're talking about him being third in touchdowns. He's an absolute beast. The guy is the most explosive receiver in the National Football League. And if you don't believe me, just look at the receipts. No receiver had more 50-plus catches, 50-plus yard catches than Jamar Chase last year. He had six of them. So, I mean, it just goes to show you how dominant this guy is. And we're talking about him doing all of this in his rookie season. And he, the guy that was throwing him the ball last year happened to be the most sacked quarterback in the National Football League. So when you think about the upgrades that since he has made along the offensive line and what they're trying to do in terms of building that roster, it feels like this offense is only going to create more quality opportunities for Jamar Chase to show out. So I got to go with Jamar Chase as the guy that's going to have the best campaign of any receiver in 2022. Well, Jamar Chase was the only rookie to have multiple playoff games with one, at least 100 receiving yards. I agree with you, Chris. What about you, Emily? I don't hate either of your choices. They're yeah. fine choices, but you're both wrong because the answer is <laughs> who's going to be the best this year, and it's going to be the guy on the best offense in the NFL. That is Stephon Diggs, a guy who likes to thrive off some disrespect. I kind of like that about him. But what Stephon Diggs has <laughs> is the best symbiotic relationship in the NH NFL. This is where I show off my Penn State education. I use a word Let's like go. symbiotic. symbiotic. I like, like I that. Paid there it is. In biology class. I didn't. I cheated my way through it. But he doesn't <laughs> cheat at all with Josh Allen because he makes Josh Allen better. Josh Allen would not be the quarterback he is if he didn't have this elite option that he can always have this chemistry with. And I don't think Stephon Diggs is the receiver he is if he didn't have this relationship with Allen. I mean, look at the way that he elevated his game once he came over from Minnesota. There's nobody better in the league than these two when the play is broken. Stephon Diggs always finds himself open. He runs a great route. Maybe not quite as good of a route as Devontae Adams, but it's a very good route. He's very good on these contested balls. Again, this is going to be the best offense in the league. And Stephon Diggs... He's going to be the guy this year that is leading the league. In touchdowns, receiving yards, all them wide receiver stats. Steph did. Josh Allen having a better relationship than Jamar Chase and Joe Burrow. Did we not see what those guys did at LSU? I'm just, just putting that out there. Just, just throwing it out there. there. I think symbiotic as well. I think that's there. symbiotic <laughs> to uh, take a break from that, shall we? All Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.